Hey guys, it's me, PurpleHamster1157, and in this video, I'm showing you Cookie's new cage. First off, it's a 90-quart bin cage, 85 liters. Um, so first thing, um, I wash it out. I use um, Dawn dish soap, just normal dish soap, and I washed it in the bathroom. For a big cage like this, it's best to wash it in the bathtub or in the shower rather than trying to wash it in the sink. Wash it really good and dry it as well really good too um, because it is a new hamster cage. So wherever it was before, you need to clean all those germs off. Cookie is so small, so I have to uh, bend the, the water bottle holder so much so it can reach down to her level so she can drink out of it. Then just add some bedding. Um, and remember in the end to add a little bit of bedding from your hamster's old cage so that there's a little bit of their scent on it so it's not so stressful for them. I'm just adding my regular bedding, my Care Fresh bedding, and then my Soul Fresh bedding. Then add all the stuff that you need for your hamster cage. And also I put the wheel in and then I realized that it was covered in pee so I had to go wash it. I'm sorry that they're, they're, it's just like length for like a little while i'm sorry because i realized it was really messy because she had apparently peed in her wheel i never knew she peed in her wheel so yeah just add all your stuff last but not least put your hamster in their brand new cage and let them explore. That'll be so much for them, fun for them. And I know Cookie re really loves her new cage because it's much bigger. Um, watch them run around for a little while and see if they um are have showing signs of stress. And also put the cap on if you can make the cap. But um. You, you should have a cap, even though you, you think your hamster couldn't get out. Put the nest from their old cage into their new cage, and then put um, a little bit of bedding around their cage that'll help so the stress is a little bit lower. And then decorate the outside with whatever craft stuff you would like. Um, it doesn't matter if it's safe or not for hamsters because it'll be on the outside. Um, so your hamster will have no way of getting At last, your cage all nice and decorated. I just put Cookie's name on the front of it with the tape. And then I put a little bit of polka dotted like Easter looking tape. But it's not Easter eggs. It just looks cute on the outside. Poke holes or put... um mesh in the lid so they'll have some sort of ventilation but at this point I didn't um, have the tools yet to poke the holes so I was just leaving um, little cracks in the lid but that was okay because I was watching her the whole time so it was okay. This cage is not a very good idea for Syrians. If you didn't know, um, I used to have scruffles in a bin cage about this size and she actually chewed through the lid in like one day, like a huge hole, like the size of my fist. And that was really scary, so I had to re-persuade my parents on why this is safe for them. Don't put your hamster in a bin cage if they're big tubers. And I could tell Cookie was not stressed. She loves her Thank new home. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to go check out my other videos.